What's going on you guys, Pizza person here and welcome to Claw Track episode 55. Today's episode is going to be from Cleethorpe, so it's not going to be a huge episode, but it's an episode nonetheless, um, it's alright, so hope you enjoy the episode. But just before we start, I would like to give a shout out to Bodhi. Bodhi is 5 years old and a big fan of the channel. His mum recently got in contact with me, thanking me for making Claw Track and how her son, Bodhi, is obsessed with the videos, loves them, and when he's playing claw machines in his bedroom, he even tries to pretend to be me doing the commentary and that. So yeah, he's a big fan of the channel and really grateful to hear from you. Thank you very much for getting in contact. I absolutely love it when fans like you get in contact. Um, it's really amazing to hear from you. So yeah. Anyway then, I'm gonna start the episode now from Cleethorpes. So sit back and enjoy it. So here's the top of green, which has a Guanxin Ganshi for some reason. Yeah, yeah like it says Guanxin on the, um, the Ganshi, I don't know why that is, but you know, that's what it's like. Ooh, and it's rigged, obviously. Yeah, how weak can it be? Could it possibly be any weaker than that? It's just weak. A lot of them are weak here. At the good luck, Karina. For some reason, the um, big choice that we filmed last time seems to be gone, which is a shame. But if you want to play big choice cranes, um, I think at this point you'll have to go to America because they're more common over there. So I dropped a 10 there. Damn. I think even this one is rigged or weak. So yeah, that's not very good. But, well, I got like five pound and ten pence pieces anyway, and then a few other pound coins. So. I've gone the Kinder Cranes obviously because of Guanxing music and then I don't know, so this will be a very short episode probably. This one's got no sound. Well, this side anyway. That one might. And this one actually seems stronger, so we'll keep playing. There's no use going on that one because the claw there looks quite small. And then the um, prize is around, so I wouldn't pick them up. So we'll see what we can do here. So, yeah, it does rig, as to be expected. However, you know, it doesn't rig as badly. I think this one might only be 20, set on 20p, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it is. This one's set on 20p ago. You know, it states that it's 30 points on Good. Right. No, not like that. Give this one one more, I think. 
yellow or is it actually going to charge me 30 now yeah it will oh it was fun while it lasted i guess Joyland Jumbo. So um, see, is this one weak as well? No, lo and behold, it actually picks up and we might have a win. Oh my god, that's good. I think this is the strongest one here so far. Again, no. So, I think it was just pay out when I got that plug then. No. It doesn't look very strong anyway. Uh, let's try this one here. I've only got a few 10 P's left. And I've got one of these Kinder Cranes and I'll be it for this episode. So, we'll probably go on 2P with pushes as well. I'll try one of these sequin llama things. Kinder Crane, final two pounds as well. Um, so it has been a fairly short episode, but how well better than nothing, I guess. Now there's only one reason I'm playing this, and you'll probably already know, especially if you saw my last Clee Forbes episode. For this episode of Claw Track, then we got this pug and then um, this pug here, so just pugs. So that's really it. It's been a short one, I know, but hopefully the next one will be, be a little bit longer. I'm not too sure when or where the next one will be filmed. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. In fact, never mind, I actually did find this big choice. It is still here, just chilling in the corner here. I had no idea um, until just now as I was just leaving. Oh well.